Hi and welcome to GIY. I'm Lish and in this episode I want to show you how to read your electricity bill. For a lot of people it's not that exciting but for me I love it. It's a bit like an energy report card every three months and I rip it open and see how I've done. On the front just the basic information but what you're looking at is what you have to pay essentially. Turn it over though for the most exciting bits. Uh, the graphs of your daily kilowatt hour or average daily kilowatt hour consumption and your average daily emissions. Now what you're really looking for on your bill is similarities. So I want the same, roughly the same sort of usage this year as I did last year unless there's been any huge changes in my house. And then I'm looking over the seasons and seeing, knowing how I use energy um, seeing that my bill matches that. So in October, it's 8 kilowatt hours a day, and it's the same this year as last year. So that shows that it's been pretty good. Then it goes down in February, uh, down over summer because I haven't got air conditioning, uh, I just got a fan. And then it goes up over winter because my ducted gas heating is actually powered, is pushed through the ducts by a fan which uses electricity. So I can see that happening. Down here you've got the supply charges, which you can't change. Uh, and then you've got the electricity consumption charges. If you're on off-peak electricity uh, for electric hot water or in-slab heating, you'll see a different tariff. And the tariff is what you pay per kilowatt hour for your electricity. But that's all you have to know. Your energy bill is a thing of beauty. Check it out, learn to enjoy it, and embrace the reductions that you will see when you start to get that energy efficiency thing behind you. Thanks for watching this DIY episode. Explore the rest of the website and keep saving energy.